going to have to make this video quite fast as uh, <clears throat> due to time constraints. So let's get on with it right now. Without further ado, going back to Billboard's Hot 100 of uh, January 25th, I believe. Tw January 25th. January 29th, 1979, and uh, let's go all the way down to number, song coming in at number, I, I lost it, <laughs> my goodness, I lost it, I'll, I'll, I'll find it, I'll find it, just bear with me folks, bear with me, I know, I, I know it's on here, here it is, here it is, at number 84 on Billboard's Hot 100, up from 86, Billy Preston, I wrote a simple song, Lost, totally lost. Forty-five. Billy Preston, not that well known to the to the top forty audience, and uh, by this time in early nineteen seventy-two, now he would have a big hit. His first big hit was the instrumental "Outer Space." That was in the summer of seventy-two, and then there was "Will It Go Round in Circles" in the summer of seventy-three, followed by "Space Race," which was another instrumental. That was in the fall of seventy-three, and then "Nothing for Nothing Means Nothing." Uh, that was in 74. He did that song with Sarita Wright. I believe that was her name, Sarita Wright, with You, I'm Born Again. That was in the, around the spring of 1980. Billy Preston, his biggest hit before this record, I wrote a simple song, was, oh gosh, it was an awesome gospel record he did. That's the way God planned it. Summer 69, produced by George Harrison off the Apple label. That's the way God planned it. Does anybody remember that song? Went to number 11 in Britain. Not so well here in the States. Went to number 62 here in the States. Actually, the song was released twice. Released in 69 and then several years later in the early 70s and still didn't make top 40. That was one of the, one of, I thought, one of his best records. That's the way God planned it by Billy Preston. Billy Preston worked with the Beatles on the Get Back Sessions. Get Back se se Sessions back in uh, 1968, 69. Actually, he met the Beatles in 1962. Met them in England, the Beatles. The Beatles were just starting to get big in England when Billy Preston met them. Billy Preston was in Little Richard's touring band when he met the Beatles and hooked up with them again later on in 1969. Played the electric piano on Get Back and uh, played on se several records on the uh, Get Back session sessions. As a matter of fact, I just found out that John Lennon wanted Billy Preston to become a member of the Beatles. He was like to Paul McCartney, man, this guy, this guy's fantastic. Let's make him a member of this band. And Paul McCartney was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. We can't do that. We can't even agree among ourselves with four people in the group, much less with five. <laughs> so there goes that. <laughs> And uh, that's the way God planned it. That was in 69. And then I guess I wrote a simple song would be as, uh, well, very lost, very much a lost 45. As a matter of fact, it got as high as number 77 on Billboard's Hot 100. On Billboard's Hot 100 for five weeks. But this is a fantastic record. It incorporates elements of classical music and gospel. He delivers a fiery, uh, fiery uh, incandescent vocal performance on this record. Billy Preston does at times, and uh, George Harrison plays on this record. He plays an instrument called the dobro, D-O-B-R-O, -O, which is a special it's a special kind of guitar. It's a single cone resonant, resonator guitar. He plays that. George Harrison plays that uh, instrument on this record. I wrote a simple song. Another Lost 45. Here it is, Billy Preston. I wrote a simple song on Billboard's Hot 100 back in January 1972.